Okay, I'm back. I'm really rambly, but you know, it is what it is. And if I don't make the videos, then I don't get any information out. This is something I want to show you, and it's sort of unrelated to the concept of the heat treating, but Okay, so this was something I was bifacing, very tough rock. And I was hurrying because it was in an initial stage thing and I wasn't particularly worried about, I mean, I didn't want to ruin getting into the middle of it uh, with too low a flake, but I was hurrying. So you can tell this was not, where are you? This was not a good setup platform or anything, but it was, in my rapid opinion, because I was working quickly, it was hittable. So, the platform is fairly low. Um, I was holding it like this, obviously. Hit it, and here's what I wanna show you. Okay, this was low back on this side, which I apparently ignored or didn't think about. Um, this looks like it has plenty of meat on it. See all this big old thickness here? It has plenty of meat on it, and, you want, and I hit it hard because I wanted to undercut some of that. Well, basically, so the angle I hit it at, the flake is going more or less straight in through thickness. They always take the path of least resistance unless you force them to take a different path through extreme pressure one way or another or something. But at any rate, I've had this happen like twice since I've been napping where just I did, I made the rock do something somewhat inexplicable, but it isn't. I mean, it's, it's easy to understand if you really look at it carefully. Um, so I hit it really, really hard, and it came in and came up out the top instead of going through and down the bottom. And you can tell that it couldn't make up its mind very well right when it got to here because it was darn near the middle of the thickness and it's like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? And it sort of fought with itself right in there. And you can see it dug down quite a bit uh, toward the bottom of that. But um, that's sort of a, a, a crazy force the, the, the fracture to make a decision when it's in the middle of the rock kind of situation. And probably my pressure with my thumb there, if I had pressure with my thumb, normally I wouldn't squeeze that very hard. But if I had pressure with my thumb right there, that definitely would have biased it towards, um, I don't know. No, not really, because that would have actually made it want to sink more down low. So I probably wasn't squeezing it too hard. I probably just had back edge support and support out here. My thumb probably wasn't even over there. It's probably here. But anyway, so I don't know if you find that interesting or not, but I do think some of the failures and weirdness are interesting because, I mean, <clears throat> if, if you don't look at the rock carefully, when you just look at it like this, look at it like that, you're like, well, if I hit it right there, it'll just make a real nice flake right through there. Well, nope, not if you do it wrong. Okay. There I am again, talking about screwing up on camera. Oh well. <clears throat> I just, I don't know why I grabbed this rock. This was just another example. I don't have that much heated rock. And this was another example that I obviously got from somebody. I don't believe I paid them that, that price or anything. I think, I think it was a bucket that I was given with some stuff that I bought. But there's a seam in here that goes down you can see it looks like it goes down to there, so that's kind of a problem. I don't even have anything out to hit with. Hang on. I think I might have to title this, uh, this video something like Ramble City. can I hit on this? I would say I don't want to ruin it, but I don't really care, but all I did was turn that. Oh, you're not even looking. Why are you not watching me? Get over here. Hold on.
I don't know if this is going to work. If I lose you, then it's been nice knowing you. I was basically hitting the edge with the abrader, kind of trying to turn it that way. <clears throat> now, as you can tell, I did not use my biggest bopper. And normally, I wouldn't have drive, driven that honking flake if this didn't have heat on it. And it started to kind of sink on me, even though I wasn't holding it very tight. So you gotta be kind of careful with heated material. But I can more or less guarantee you that if that rock hadn't been heated, it would have been really, really tough and I wouldn't have gotten that flake. So, and I mean, it went right nicely through the concrete area. And this is actually sort of a pretty kind of cool rock. Don't know where it came from. It actually looks sort of like it from its coloration. It looks like it came out of water, maybe. I don't know. I try not to fill in the blank too much in my nose. See, there's that seam I was talking about. It goes down to there. It looks like it might not be deep enough to mess up with the length, though, so I might be able to actually get something out of this if I want to. Scammer. These flakes let go so easily. I'm not used to hitting the, the treated stuff, and I mean, the flakes just jump off. And sometimes I have a tendency, because I'm not used to it, I have a, ten I have a tendency to crush the, uh, crush the platform. See, that just tore loose right there. Little fractures in there, and I don't know if that's from the heat or not. The other thing is, Try to go with a finer abrader if you want to strengthen with your cross grinding on something like this. See, that failed and it kicked up into here and it goes underneath there. So now I've ruined pretty much my, well, let me try it. Now I got under it a little bit tried to muscle it through there fast, but you can see it goes up even a little bit further under there. And it's no big deal. I mean, you know, I can fix it, but it's just embarrassing as heck. And now I'm gonna have to just socially isolate for however long, just until the embarrassment wears off. Man, that that's blowing up. I cannot hit this stuff as if it were raw. I did not get I, This is one of those kind of things that I basically can't get it strong enough to put up with how I want to manhandle it. It's overheated for the degree of thickness and the amount of reduction I want to do at the, at the pace I want to do it. And what I mean by that is, you know, you got X amount of width. When you got a bunch of thickness and you got X amount of width, you want to take biggish, productive hits. That one kind of jumped when it got to there. But you want to do you want to do some good. I can't hit into this. That would have been fine, but with that messed up like that, I can't hit into that. I think I've gotten off topic. This is turning into another one of them three ring circuses where I'm the only clown. Dang it. I do like this rock. I wish it had a tiny bit less heat on it. Well, I'm not gonna waste any more time with it. Changed my name to Ramble Crack. I was just grabbing gnarly rocks out of that giveaway mean bucket. 
make, it, make new enemies bucket. What will happen if I hit this with a solid? It went in and died bigger than life. Mean old rock. I hit it hard. It just died. Okay. I wonder if I could post this as somebody else. You know, like another napper that's a rival that's better than me. And I just post this like get some of that software or change your voice and stuff. This is probably not gonna work at all. It's a really bad idea. Yeah, it worked. But it didn't get all of that. Um this is another one of those rocks that it's, you know, the lighter colored rock, by the way, when you're heat treating stuff, <coughs> in Texas rock, the lighter colored rock takes, you gotta be way more careful. I mean, you, you gotta heat it higher. Um, like for instance, okay, here's two bifaces. These are both tough rocks. This is what we call root beer from Heckfire Maynard. And this is just, from Heckfire Maynard. This is chert, like, you know, where you say it with a capital C and, and a sneer. Um, but it's tough stuff. But this, normally, you can go considerably higher heat than you could this, because this will blow up on a warm day, but the problem is it needs heat. So, kind of like an expert heating thing versus a, yeah, we can get away with murder on this one, kind of. Because the other thing is, it's thin enough where... Now, another thing. If these buckets have sat in your garage for a year, then you might have... A great, you'll have a greater degree of difficulty at times heating them because there isn't potentially enough, if there were open buckets, there may not be enough moisture left in the rock to actually do its little magic. Um, but the flip side of that is, if you've just gotten rock out of the ground and you wanna heat it, you better be darn careful. Because, you know, if you run that thing up above boiling before Might have been, it might take a day, might take two days. You say, when's it done? It's done when it's done. This is not a rock to hit. This is a giveaway at a nap in out of town where you're not going back to ever kind of rock. You know, you hang around the nap in a while and you find the, the, the person there that you just think deserves it. And then you walk up to him and say, you know, you're a good old boy. And just cause you're a good old boy, I won't give you some. But you can't tell anybody else I gave it to you because they'll be wanting some and you know, I only got enough for you. But here. And you give them this, and then you drive away and you don't look in your rearview mirror. I don't know why I'm talking about being mean. I think I've just, you know, I've gotten too isolated. I can work this rock, but I mean, look at this. It's got all that damage in there. I mean, it's just thick as it can be. By the time I get it worked, you know what it's gonna be, don't you? Okay, let's say it all together. A Gary drill. A very Jerry, Gary drill. Um, really, if I were to step down to a, not stepping down, but stepping sideways to a Leadfield, 
copper bopper. It'll work a little better in a way as long as I do it right. And the reason for that is this rock's tough. So when I hit it with that solid, it's kind of shocky. See how that's a breaking off? That's because there is too much calcareousness, if that's a word, to this material, particularly on the cortex. See that sideways thing? I like the colors though. I'm a sucker for earth tones. Hey, look. One of them there, what you call it? You, an oot ray passe or whatever they call it. There's all kinds of, all kinds of names for it. Lots of folks call it an accident. I call it mad skills. I'm winding myself up somehow. I'd be thinking about sugary things. <clears throat> like this rock. I was talking about heat and stuff. What am I doing? Oh, I'm too long. I'll be back in a sec.